Hey and welcome to this Festival Pro tutorial video. Today we're going to have a little look at setting up your system um, from absolute scratch. Um, so we're actually here on our website at festivalpro.com and um, if we click on buy now up in this top corner we're going to be able to um, begin to fill in a form to set up our festival. And we can see we just put in our organization name. Your details in here if you put in your festival dates, um, it will actually start to allow your system to be set up completely. So I just put in these couple of bit of mandatories. Next, it's going to ask you for your uh, festival name and your festival website. This is the email address that you'll use um, and your location. The logo and background that you would want to use. Festival Pro system name is what your URL will become. So testfest.festivalpro.com, for example. You can start to input your venue and stage names now, as well as the types of acts that you might have at the event. You can do all this later as well once you're in the system, but it's handy to have some stuff set up ready to work with when you are live and running. So down here you can choose your currency, how you want to pay us. Um, you can add on some extra support sessions in here. Um, for onboarding. Once you've signed up your account, you'll receive um, an email with a couple of logins. One will be your organizer login. Um, this will chiefly be your email address or username. And one will be your config login. Now, when you get going with the system, we're just going to go through a couple of things that are useful to do first. So if I log into the configuration settings, under configuration up here, you're going to see the option to connect Stripe to your account. Um, this is useful to do if you want to take any payments within the system. You can import via CSV if you've got a bunch of data that's already out there and you um, want to pull that in quickly. You can do an import CSV. If we go into settings and then calendar, you can set the beginning hour, um, the starting time of your show. So maybe you'll have some stuff that's happening from uh, 9 a.m until maybe 3 a.m. You can set the calendar intervals um, for the day and week. These are by default set to 15 and 60 minutes. Um, it seems to work for the majority of people, but you can set these down to five minutes if you so desire. And you can um, also set, you know, the days, maybe your festival is actually running on the, the Wednesday and Thursday as well, or maybe you're a, a week long event. And you can edit your calendar settings in here useful to do right at the very beginning. Another thing you might want to do while setting up your system is go into your users menu and in here you'll be able to um, add new system users and set up usernames, passwords and the level of access that they may get. And now we're done with the config login and we can go into our organizer view. And in here, you can begin to add new artists, add new contractors, add new vendors, uh, start working with all your forms under dashboard and forms. Um, it's probably advisable as a first step if you hit the support button. And the help guide. There's another few videos like this one. That's just going to go through the um, say default workflows for artists, uh, contractors and crew, vendors, volunteers. There's some useful information in here to get you going. And then when you feel like you've had enough of a play with the system and uh, you're ready perhaps to do a Zoom call with us, you can uh, book in a tutorial request and then choose a time slot for us to jump on a, a Zoom call and take you through the next steps. So